Hey guys, so I did heatless curls for the first time last night, so let's take them out together. Okay, so when I did my rollers, a lot of you guys suggested that I do heatless curls because it'd be more comfortable to sleep in, so that's what I did, and I don't know if I did it right. I also did it with, like, damp hair because some of you guys suggested that as well. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Okay, hold on. Okay, this is one side. It's actually really cute. Obviously, I need to, like, brush it out and, like, fix it a bit, but I'm gonna take out the other side now. These are really cute. Ah! Also, I didn't have those, like, things you put in your hair, so I literally used a robe. Okay, I'm gonna give it a bit more volume because you can see it's, like, a little bit flat on the top. So I'm using this spray from Living Tooth. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hairspray it a little bit so it stays in place. And then last step, I always do a bit of oil just to make it more shiny. I use the Gisu oil. It's really good. And then I'm scrunching it up like that. I'm actually so glad that I cut my hair when I did because one, it's going to be nice and long by the time summer's here. And two, my hair just grows like really fast in general. And I wanted like all the dead pieces gone because it was literally a completely different color at the ends. A lot of you guys always ask how my hair grew so fast because it was literally like here when i first cut it and i'm gonna be so honest it's literally just genetics i do have the way like scalp serum but i use it once every like two weeks because i always forget to apply it and my hair still grows so fast and also it's just always been like this also this peach and lily glass skin combo is actually insane like it always makes my skin so glowy and i've dyed my hair multiple times like bleach blonde in the past so honestly i don't really know how it's still growing in general also the weather has been so insanely nice recently like it's above 20s for the past week and like that's really hot for us here and we also don't have ac in canada or i'm sure the newly developed homes do have ac but we don't so every time it hits above like 20 i'm sweating in my room 24 7. anyways i got my ears re-pierced yesterday because my seconds and thirds closed which is really annoying because i've had them for more than two years so yeah i got these two re-pierced and it's probably like the most annoying thing ever having to get them re-pierced also it hurt like a bitch to get them re-pierced i don't know why because i feel like it should hurt less since there was already a hole in there but nope it hurt 10 times more like my belly button piercing hurt way less you guys always ask my belly button piercing hurt it did not hurt at all and it was probably like the quickest piercing ever like for a split second you feel a little pinch and that was basically it this is your sign to get your belly pierced before summer comes because it's so worth it and it's so cute. My best friend actually just got hers pierced like a few days ago and it looks so cute. You guys should also get it pierced before summer because you can't go in water with it like healing. I have an accounting midterm on Thursday and I literally hate it so much and I don't want to do it. But I have to and it'll also be really useful and helpful for me because I got a lot of taxes to pay this year. I feel like I should buy a new camera soon. I can write it off as an expense. <laughs> and also, I have been needing a new camera for YouTube anyways. I've been wanting like a nice, small, portable one, but also like good quality. I'm gonna try and film something today for YouTube. Okay, bye guys. going out for dinner tonight again i feel like i've been going out for dinner so much recently but we're switching up guys i'm wearing a jumper i've been wearing a jumper in like what feels like forever but we're going to this mexican restaurant at sanji cove it is so good by far like my favorite restaurant ever and we're going to go there like maybe like two weeks ago but we forgot to make a booking so it was like fully booked out and we ended up getting Thai instead but the Thai was still really good. Anyways, besides the point, I haven't been there in forever and I am so excited. They have such good nachos there so I'm definitely going to get that. I was actually going to film this get ready with me today because I feel like I've been doing a lot of them recently and I feel like you guys are going to get sick of them but if you are just let me know. I've been feeling so sick today. I woke up like with such a bad headache. My throat feels like it's on fire and like I feel like I was about to throw up. But I'm feeling a little bit better now, but still not like a hundred percent. I was literally spent the whole day in my pajamas. This is the first time I got changed to get ready for dinner. And I've just been laying in bed watching TV all day. I felt so lazy, but that's what you do when you're sick, I guess. But it's not like proper sick or anything. It's just like those type of things where you're like sick for the day and then the next day you're perfectly fine. 
But the weather really matched the mood today because it's been rainy and stormy all day, hence why I'm literally wearing a jumper and jeans because it's so cold. I'm going to do my lashes now. I have this skin tint like all on my head. <laughs> Does anyone else's cat just sit there and like stare at people out the window? It's so funny. My cat always does it like it's a favorite thing to do there's kids outside and my windows open but they're being really loud so sorry if you can hear that i'm gonna add in some of the scar though i'm not having a good lash day oops mm, i like it on my eyelid at least this mascara comes off so easy i feel like just doing my lashes makes the biggest difference um now i'm gonna put on some eyebrow gel I'm getting ready a bit quick today. I gave myself like 30 minutes to get ready. Did not need 30 minutes whatsoever. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my hair. You know what? I'm just going to leave it down. Because I washed it the other day. And I feel like my hair always looks the best down after it's been washed. But I'm just going to scrunch it up and then leave it to dry. Might quickly add some love tint just onto my lips. They have a bit more colour. I feel like adding that on, it looks so pretty. And then, obviously, my pawpaw over the top. Okay, that's it for my Get Ready With Me. Hope you all have a great night. Get ready with me for school whilst I tell you things I absolutely hate and despise. I hate when you're not the only person talking in the class and the teacher only picks on you, like leave me alone. Honestly, it's so annoying, the whole class is having a full on conversation, I say one thing and you're literally on my case. I hate, ugh, I hate pickles so much with my whole heart, the only pickles I'll actually kind of taste is McDonald's pickles, because it's actually like flavourful, do you know what I mean, it has like some sort of flavour to it. Sometimes I hate the way people breathe, like sometimes they breathe so heavy for no reason and I know they're doing it on purpose. I hate when we go to a restaurant and like you're with your friends and stuff and they just leave like the things on the table and they say oh it's the waiter's job don't worry about it or like at school like what are you doing i mean if like the cleaners are begging like begging for you not to take it they'll handle it then yeah cool but like put it in the bin it's actually not that hard i hate feeling wet when i'm not supposed to feel wet not like that hold on chill relax for instance like i'm in a dry area and i just feel wet like i'm splattered with water i hate that if i'm not swimming or i'm not at the beach i don't want to feel wet it's honestly such an uncomfortable feeling i hate people that aren't straight up just be straight up i don't like hints just be straight up with me i just want to know exactly how it is i hate when two friends have an argument right and then the next day they're bestie besties like what and it'll be the ones that were speaking the most crap about each other and i'm just like what that is so weird i stay far away from those type of people not around here partner not around here i hate when like a social media influencer sees their comments and they're asking oh where's your lashes from where's your clothes from etc and they're literally liking the comment and they're not replying to it you're so annoying i hate influencers like that like why are you being a mean girl it's, it's not cute just, just stop but that's it bye guys Mwah. I think I'm the only TikToker ever to go on vacation and not post about it. But I had so much fun, so let me catch you up on the past week of my life. So for spring break, me and three of my friends went to the beach. This is the first ever time I've done something like this without my parents. Drive was only four hours, but it took us eight because we went to the bathroom so much. Like every 20 minutes, we had to stop. We even stopped on the side of the road and mid pee, these cows started charging at me and my friends. Anyways, we get to the place we're staying and we meet up with our other friends who are also down there. Then we would go to the beach and it was so busy and we wanted to go on the part of the beach where everyone was so it was like a 30 minute golf cart ride we had such a big group it was so fun and we would all just play sand volleyball and hang out i also saw so many people i knew when we were down there there was people from our school there was people who recognized me from tiktok i even i saw my childhood best friend there i haven't seen her in years but she was so sweet also like not cute guys there at all i think maybe like one group While we were walking up and down the beach they would come up to us at the time i just lied and said i had a boyfriend it was like insane every couple minutes like someone would come up to us one day we even started 
started counting how many guys we had to shoo off and after an hour it was at like 15 and we just stopped counting the whole time the weather was like humid when it's humid my hair looks very sus that's kind of why we took like zero pictures until the day before we left i just posted on instagram and it's all just me in the same outfit this whole trip no one was on their phone i really loved like i would prefer it that way over so much literally just used our phones when we wanted to turn on music even getting ready we were just laughing and blasting music like i don't think i could have filmed i literally love talking to y'all and filling y'all in on everything but if i was on my phone that whole time like forcing myself to vlog like how most influencers like i would not have had as much fun it was so much fun i do wish i filmed some of it i at least got one good instagram post out of it so i'll, I'll be fine but if i go anywhere else i promise i'll take y'all along that is my little life update because i haven't seen you in like a week i'm ready so bye guys love you hey guys let's get ready to go to school i first wanted to start off this video by saying thank you so much for 11,000 followers yesterday i woke up and i was at 8,900. I woke up this morning to 11,900. I got 335,000 views on my newest Get Ready With Me. I am looking to do more sponsorships with brands. I'm trying to look for more sponsored posts to do because I wanted to show you guys like brands that I like and I think would work well for you guys. I am going to make a sponsor video soon, so stay tuned for that. But I actually think it's something you guys might enjoy. Now for the little update with Mystery Guy. So we are going to hang out after school and we are going to get lunch. And we're also going to the gym after we hang out, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to try to make a hair tutorial for you guys sometime this week. I don't know exactly what we're doing before the gym. We might just drive around and figure it out. Also, a lot of people have been asking where my headband is from and everything I use in my videos is linked to my Amazon storefront. So far, I only have two categories, but I will be adding a jewelry and skincare one. I use the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape because it's like more hydrating for my eyes. And I use the same one in many to carve out my nose contour like this. I just go down and it's not a lot of product so. My concealer placement is really funny looking but trust me you just have to blend it out and it looks amazing. I think I did really good nose contour today. I'm shocked. On my page I have more in-depth makeup tutorials so you just have to keep on looking. When I do this part in my under eyes, I switch to my Rare Beauty brush and I just blend. Honestly, I really like where things are going with this guy, like I wanted to keep on going in this direction. Also, I'm literally so obsessed with my outfit. I need to stock back up on setting spray because this stuff is almost out and it's so good. Setting with my favorite powder ever. A little trick I like to do is set with pressed powder before and then do this with loose powder. I find that it really helps keeping your makeup in place without looking too cakey. Now I'm just going to use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, my favorite. I think we might be going to Chipotle for food, so I'm so excited. My second favorite like fast food place is Chipotle versus Chick-fil-A, obviously. I'm so excited that we're going, but I think I might skip fifth just to stay there a little longer. Going in with the Refi Highlighter on the high points of my face. This stuff makes me look so glowy. Guys, he just texted me asking me if I wanted him to take me home after school. Yes. I will always include this part in my get ready with me's. I love curling my lashes. Mascara is probably my favorite thing in my whole routine just because it makes my makeup come together. Also, let me know if you guys want me to try that L'Oreal telescopic lift. I'm going to finish doing my mascara and then come back. Going with the NYX Jumbo Stick and Cottage Cheese in these spots. Vanity on the lips. This is the fit check. The top is from Aerie, the sweater is from H&M, the leggings are Aerie, and the shoes are Converse. Using some of this hair oil on my ends. Going in with some Cherosa 40 body spray. That's it, get ready with me. Bye. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. I need rest now, got me bummed out. You so, you so, you, baby, baby, baby. I've been on my empty mind, shit. Where is my other clip? I can't find my other clip, so I'm gonna have to put a pink one in. It doesn't really match. Guys, I found it. Ow! My hair just doesn't cooperate with flat. What is that? What is that? I changed the light in because I like this more. Um, I'm gonna try and rush through my skincare because I want to get it over and done with. And also, I don't actually have that much time. I have to leave in 15, 20 minutes. So that's how long I have to do my makeup. And pack my bag. Ugh. That was so quick. 
I really want to try the Glow Recipe Hue Drops because my friend Elsie, she does get rid of me as well. She goes to my store. I think you all know her. Get rid of me, Elsie Halls. Yeah, her. Um, she has like 100k. She, um, I was sending vlogs to her last night. Um, she was sending me vlogs and she was trying out the Hue Drops. Cause she got the huge drops from Glow Recipe because she went to Sephora and there was literally so much in stock and um, she was showing me them and they actually look really good and I really want them. But I just use the same, I just use the same drop. I think these are the shade Sun Glow but I think that's the only shade you can actually get because people keep asking me what shade I have. I'm just going to put some of the Lumen eye cream under my eyes because I really love this eye cream. It's like, it really helps get rid of like bags and I look so flipping tired right now. So guys, I um thanks for getting my live count to 800 so quickly. By the way, I went live last night. If you missed it, it's fine because I'll probably be going live again. Like, I don't know. What's that? Might go live with Talila. Ah! I'm just getting myself the ick. Anyways, um, I have maths first period today, and I'm just not here for it. Honestly, like, <laughs> maths just maths is all right at the moment because I understand. I just hate. Oh, wait, I, I might have a supply. <gasps> I might have a supply. Because basically we had a supply all week last week for maths. Because my maths teacher just weren't in. Oh, I hope we have a supply. I hope we have a supply. Guys, do you know what I've been obsessed with recently? That I've just been doing it all the time. Is um, Sudoku. Su I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. And when I'm back in Chicago, I feel it. I'm not going to do much makeup for school today just because I don't want loads of stuff on my face during lessons, to be honest. I just feel like when I put too much makeup on for school, it just stresses me out and I feel like it just makes me feel like really hot. And that doesn't really make much sense, but I just don't like wearing too much makeup. Guys, this get ready with me is already quite long, so I might just finish off my makeup and come back. Also, I have to be quick because my mum's gonna start shouting at me to hurry up in a minute. Yup, there she is. Hey guys, my makeup's done. Um, I need to go dry my hair quickly and then I need to go. So, love you all. Mwah. Bye. 4 a.m. and I'm getting ready for school, but I'm not in a bad mood because we have a million followers. One zero 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 a million let me know what type of content you want to see for a million because a million is absolutely insane and i would have never expected this like what anyways i kind of have to hurry because i have to do my math homework still if we had any i really don't remember if we do or don't i always forget that i have the laneige lip mask so i just put some on and my lips are actually so soft right now i don't know why i haven't used it in a while a lot of you guys have been asking for like my spring break i don't have one so that's that i don't have a spring break um we just had a three-day weekend call me stupid if you want but like i really don't understand why holidays have to be on like the last sunday of march or like the second monday of december like who decided that why can't they all just have dates like set dates it's gonna be really cold out today so i'm deciding if i want to dress cute or comfy and i really want to dress comfy but i really want to dress cute brilliance I'll probably end up choosing comfy if we're being for real. I'd so much rather be comfy in my history and math classes than be dressed cute. Also because I have yoga and I don't want to do yoga in jeans. Like, it doesn't bother me, but like, I'd rather just wear sweatpants. Speaking of sweatpants, I love sweatpants so much. Like, they're an obsession and it's so crazy because I used to never, ever, ever like wearing them. This weekend was so much fun. Like, I did a lot of shopping and then after school today, I get to do a project and I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. I hope setting spring. Okay, have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. And thank you for a million. Okay, I put my hair in braids last night and this is how like it turned out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that. I just put it like that to see if I'd like it. I don't know how I feel about it, so we're just gonna do my makeup and then do the hair last. I feel like it's kind of fun, but I don't know if it lasts the whole day. So, and I feel like if it fell out, it'd look really bad. So, I don't know. Do I have trust in my hair? Is it staying? Not really, but 
I don't know. I self-tanned last night. It's not fully developed yet. Um, because it's just not, I'm not as tan as I would be. And it doesn't look bad. And when I self-tan, there's not really, really streaky. Especially in the armpits, but you know, that's why we were full coverage today. Oh, spring break is on Friday. I can't wait. It's only like five days away. Just counting down the days still. Because I really need my Mexico. I need my real tan. And it won't look patchy. Okay, just did my lashes. I forgot to bring my other primer from my mom's house. So we're stuck with this. Um, I think we can make it work though. Uh-huh. I'm not retiring her yet. Because she definitely still has stuff in her. For days like this when I need her. So tomorrow in math class I have a math test, which is really scary because, oh crap, Lola's not good at math. Um, I kind of forgot everything at my mom's house, but it's fine, we're just gonna, okay that's gross. So I don't have my shade that I usually use for this, so we're gonna use Happy, Do you guys know how I feel about this one very pigmented. I don't have my blush brush either, so I'm just gonna use this one. I don't know what I've used it for, but it's gonna have to work. Um, I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows because, yeah, just am. Um, I'm not doing bronzer because I'm already, my tan's developing, so I just sprayed that on my shirt. Okay, I'm just going to put some of this Glow Recipe lip stuff on them. Literally love it. Okay, now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair and if I'm going to like leave it like this. Alright. It's like, like I like it, but like the top's really flat and the bottom's really flat, you know? I could do like something that I just kind of had in like kind of half up, half down. Actually, I kind of like that. Okay, so I did that. I think I like it. This is like what it looks like in the back. I can't really see it, but hopefully it looks okay. And I think it's fine. And if it falls out, at least I have something in my hair, you know? Maybe I'll put a little bit of hairspray in it. I really don't want these falling out, guys. definitely gonna be crunchy but it's okay staying hairspray um so as you guys can see it i have a different necklace stack on because i forgot my necklaces at my mom's house i think the only thing that i brought is like <laughs> my eyelash curler and mascara but it's fine because that's literally all i need i was gonna do like my wavy hair routine but like i always want to do that but i don't like wetting my hair in the morning and then, like, doing it and then going to school with wet hair. So, this is, like, faster, you know? Okay, but we'll do a sitting OT. Um, I think this is from Amazon. These are, like, the jeans from Sheen. Literally love these. Um, Target, Target. These came in a set. Kendra, Target, Sheen. Or other way around. Don't know. And then I think I'm gonna wear my Panda Dunks. But that's it. Bye, guys. Hey guys, get ready me for school. So, don't know why, but I feel like I'm in a rush because I actually woke up quite late today. So, yeah. So, I'm just using my glow sticky toner. And yesterday, I didn't do get ready me because I just was so tired and I just had to get in bed because I had school the next day, obviously. But hopefully school goes good and hopefully it's sunny today because it's already quite sunny, you know, but now it's going down. As soon as I mention sunny, it goes down. But yeah, now I'm just going to use my glow recipe to drop some. Oh, I'm putting a lot.
be fair, guys, I actually like the little ones and the bigger ones because the little ones are just like so cute and mini and so good to take on like travel size. But I was so sad that I had to take my lashes off because my lashes actually look really good to me. I really like my lashes and then I had to take them off for school, obviously. So I'm going to use my bubble and my drunk elephant bronzer and drops. But guys, it's kind of giving spring vibes. But anyways, my own shoes, my new Sardation Air Lip Balm. I love this so much. It smells so good. Just curling my eyelashes. This is the final look, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Go do my first week at work. So I did film my get ready meal last week and it was my first day at work, but I only went in for like an hour to discuss things and she went there. I don't actually know what I'll be doing today. It's probably just an introduction to all my little jobs that I'll be doing and I'll be trying them out and stuff, just so I get the hang of things. So the brand that I'll be working for is a brand called Beauty Mix. What they do is sell makeup products, hair products, things like that, things that you might see in boots and superdrug. And what would add up to like a hundred pound at superdrug and boots, you can get a mystery box and it can cost you like 50 quid you can get large products medium products and small products and like lots of freebies they've actually only just started off on tiktok they've been doing it for a few months they did officially start out on ebay and amazon and they are still on ebay and amazon but you know you might as well have an extra shop on tiktok shop and plus tiktok shop is like the shit now isn't it there's only a small team of us that will be working together and we'll like be collectively doing the lives if that makes sense Anyways, that is the finished look. My mate's taking it to work today because I don't drive, but I will be driving soon because I got a G wagon to buy. Hey guys, get ready me for bed. Look how cute my cat is. Aww. He's not very happy. I just kicked him off my chair because I needed to use my desk. I've just gone downstairs and got myself some Oreos because I was just craving like a biscuit to snack on. I found like these gold ones. I don't think I've ever tried gold Oreos, so let's try them out. I don't know what flavour they're going to be. Let's have a look. Oh, they're white. I think they might be white chocolate. Taste test. Mmm. They're not as good as the originals, but still, I'll munch these. They're really good. Also, this isn't like bad lip liner. I've got like a spot on the top of my lip, and I didn't even know like you could get spots on your lips, but yeah, I've got one on my lip. I didn't actually wear any makeup to school today, so I woke up too late, and then had no time to do anything and I realised I didn't pack my bag last night either so basically I had no time this morning. I'm just gonna do some micellar water on my face anyway just in case there's any like dirt or whatever on my face. I don't know why but this hairstyle just lasts me so long. Like, I've done it on Saturday morning. I've literally been to London Saturday and Sunday and it's been raining and like windy and stuff and it just don't fall out. So I suggest you try this hairstyle if you've got long hair like me because not all like hairstyles last for me but most do. I'm actually still obsessed with this toner like it smells so good so refreshing and my skin so like glowy with it i'm gonna mix both of these together it's the blemish um bubble like serum and then it's also the bubble tone and texture serum i'm just gonna put two pumps on my cheeks and then just mix it all into my face because it's only half seven i'm gonna try and do some revision now um i think i've got some homework due tomorrow that i need to do as well the motivation to do it is not here but we're gonna do it anyway because i actually do need to revise as my exams are in like six weeks so if i don't revise i'm literally screwed um so i'm just gonna do some english because i've actually got a test tomorrow also guys these are the comfiest pjs and they're so cheap they're from primark i swear they're like 11 pounds or something like that so cheap my favorite pair I'm just adding some of the bubble eye cream as well that just like suctioned up my eye okay that's all my skincare that i'm gonna do for tonight bye guys hey guys get ready with me for school
It's currently 7.33. I have to leave my house by at least 7.45. So I don't have that much time. But I definitely was up early enough today. I made my coffee. Let me show you. I don't know why if I was up early, I'm starting to get ready so late. But I had other stuff to do, like put laundry away and all that kind of jazz. Because I did get back to school yesterday. I went home for the weekend. Honestly, I feel pretty good about being awake right now. I'm definitely still tired and my brain's not running that well because I can't speak. But at least I don't feel like crawling in a hole like the other days when I get up at this hour. Low key though, I'm like already homesick. I don't know how. I was unpacking yesterday and I was like, why do I already miss being home? It's been like two hours. Because when I go home, I literally don't have to do anything. My parents take care of me and then when i'm here it's just like fend for yourself which is like adulting yeah i know but nobody likes that i also just have such a busy week ahead of me i have like the biggest midterm of my whole entire school career on wednesday i swear this test is gonna be the end of me this is the first and only grade in our grade book besides the final exam and it's like an extremely math heavy test so i will be studying all day after school today i'm gonna try and be like really productive today because i always say that and then i'm not productive and then i start hating on myself because i'm like why are you lazy which i know is like really bad i just need to get up and do the damn thing i just love rotting in bed way too much but at least i'm self-aware about it i'm aware of how much i love it okay i'm almost done with three minutes to spare just got a bronze really quick because i look to pale again my boyfriend came over last night and he was asking me like what i did this weekend and how my weekend was and i was like oh it was really great i had a great time with my parents it was so chill relaxing and he was like oh yeah cool i like jumped through a table at a party we had some very different weekends all right i'm already in at 7 44 one minute to spare record timing okay love you guys and i hope you have a great monday